I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor, so much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said, and there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the owlery? Yes, which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rebellion. Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend. See now why you needed to return with the book? I do. 
I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful and do not tell anyone where you're going.
Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Revelio. Yourself, though, let's have you leave here alive. Rebellion, you're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Here. Hands away. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. A wee bairn gain a thrashing to a troll. Oh, I can't believe it. Revelio.
hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stalk so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? But your things will be safe with me until they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Thank you. 
Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Protego. Defendo. Accio. Levioso. Revelio. Don't try one in but come in. You're the little son. Try. I 
for you. Reducto! Reducto! Revelio. Rebellion. Nice to see you, my young friend. Levioso. Accio. Capulso. Professor, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. Really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St. Mungo's for him. What a string of bad luck. Hmm. Well, 
I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacula and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Revelio. Wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecket tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa.
Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. I don't have anything for this at the moment. 